wishbone What's this you're dreaming of? Such big imagination On such a little bug What's the story, wishbone? Do you think it's worth a look? It kind of seems familiar Like a story from a book Shake a leg now, wishbone Let's wag another tail Sniffing out adventure With wishbone on the trail Come on, wishbone What's the story, wishbone? What's the story, wishbone? What's the story, wishbone? What's the story, The little dog runs! Everybody, run! You kids stay away from here. Keep running! <laughs> down the creek, down the creek, down the creek. Up the creek, up the creek, up the creek. We just keep quiet and see what happens. What do you mean? It's just an old grave. If he's crazy enough to dig it up, I don't want to be the one to stop him. Well, we can't just forget about it. I don't want someone like that mad at me for messing up his plans, whatever they are. We can't do anything else tonight. I think we just sleep on it. Oh, yeah, like I'm gonna sleep? Joe! Mom! Ellen! Joe, I have been looking for you everywhere. You were supposed to be back before dark. Where have you guys been? We were just in the park. We had lost track of time. Sorry, Mom. Sam and David, your parents are looking for you, too. Come on, let's all go home. Well, I'm glad you're okay. You really gave me a scare. What about me, Ellen? Did you worry about me? And which one must be hungry? I love this woman, always thinking. Joe, you okay? Someday, huh? Good night, Joe. So, did you find an adventure today? Well, I found something. Sort of. What did you sort of find? Oh, nothing. Just a man digging up a grave. You know the Nonheim grave? Oh, sure. The mystery grave. Sam, David, and I decided to check it out. Ooh, was it spooky? Well, actually, Mom, there was this man digging it up, and we spied on him, and he chased us away. What? Some crazy guy was digging up the grave. We could hear his shovel scraping the coffin. Wait a minute. You're making this up, right? You're just trying to scare me, aren't you? I know it sounds weird, but it's true. He caught us spying because of Wishbone, and he chased us away. Actually, he was terrified of me. I let him off easy. We can go back tomorrow, and I'll prove it to you. Okay. We'll all go. And I'll get Wanda to come, too. Do you think you can sleep now? Sure. Don't worry, Ellen. I'll protect him. Okay. Good night. You know, I love you, Joe. And don't worry. We'll go back tomorrow in broad daylight, and everything will be fine. <sighs> I guess Wishbone's not too worried. <laughs> Who's worried? Tom Sawyer had one worry. Tom's dreams were haunted by the fear that Crazy Joe would come back for revenge. Who's there? Oh, nobody. I need to do something. 
my paws are itchy. Wait a minute. Why am I digging here? There's nothing here. I need to dig out there, on the other side of the fence, where the real treasure is. Huck, we're going to dig for treasure, you and me. Do you know where to dig? Well, I've read all about it. Well, what do your books say? Well, they say treasure sometimes buried on islands, but mostly it's buried under the floor in haunted houses. Who hides it? Robbers. Who do you think? School teachers? All right, then. Where do we look? In a haunted house. I ain't scared. You, Huck? I ain't scared. Well, let's go upstairs and look around before we dig. Hey, careful. Not much to see. Ain't nothing to be scared of around here. Ain't such a safe place for this. I reckon we ought to bury it. It's crazy, Joe. I've hit something. Is here. Well, now it's mine. <laughs> I guess you don't have to hide here no more, Joe. I, I reckon you, you can run off anywhere you like. I'll go after I've gotten my revenge. You, you want me to bury it again? Wait a minute. Where did these tools come from? We can't bury it here. Somebody's been poking around this place. <sighs> I'll take it to my den, number two spot under the cross. All right, Joe. Who do you think brought those tools in here? You think they're still around? Get you tomorrow. Wait, no. I gotta go to Becky Thatcher's picnic tomorrow. Sorry, Huck. I can't pass up the opportunity for food and romance. Right, Tom. Mm, day after tomorrow, Huck. We'll be back on the scent. Uh-oh. Wanda's here. Um, whatever it is, I didn't do it. 
No one has ever been able to find out the story behind the no-name grave. The Historical Society has collected a lot of anecdotes, but they're all ghost stories, no hard facts. And no one has ever been authorized to dig it up? Oh, no. The city thought it was best to leave it alone. The man we saw there definitely did not want to be seen. Well, let's find out what's going on. OK, let's go get David. Don't worry, gang. If there's any trouble, I'll be, I'll be, um, right behind you. How do we get across this? You can swing across, or you can walk. Sawyer didn't know what he'd find at Becky's picnic. Thanks for having me to your picnic, Becky. Tom, I don't mind telling you that you're the bravest boy in the whole town. She, have you been in the cave before? No. Well, let's go. Let's go back this way. Oh, no, I mean this way. Oh, I know the shortcut, Becky. It's right over here. Or maybe not. Well then, are we there yet? Tom, are we lost? No, we just don't know where we are exactly. Tom, you, Tom. Dutch Thatcher. Have you seen Tom? No, and I can't find Becky. She didn't come home with the others from the... Becky! I can get us out of here! Oh my gosh. Oh my word. Yep. That's an empty grave, all right. I can't believe it. Ah! Ellen, you want to handle this? Go away. All of you. Not until we find out what you're doing here. I've come back for what's mine. What are you talking about? Things in the grave. I've come back for them, that's all. There's a person buried here. No, it's not like that. The, the coffin wasn't for a person. What was it for, then? It's a place for safekeeping. I just can't get rid of you people, can I? I might as well show you.
There was an immigrant family that came to this country sometime in the 1840s. They ended up here, when Oakdale was barely Oakdale. They tried to start a farm, but it failed, and they had to move on. But before they did, they buried their valuables. Why would they bury their valuables like that? I always bury my valuables. Makes perfect sense to me. It was an act of faith. You leave behind what you love, and you're bound to return to it. They hope to come back and try the farm again. But why make it look like a grave? So that no one would disturb it. Not even by accident. And they never made it back? No. But I did. I'm their great-grandson, Simon Laszlo. How did you know about this place? From a story that my parents and my grandparents always told. I decided to come back and see if there was any truth to it. I especially hope to find this. Do you play? I do. Mr. Laszlo, I'm Wanda Gilmore of the Oakdale Historical Society, and I hope you'll record this piece of Oakdale history for our archives. Yeah, now we have the real story of the no-name grave. Um, Mr. Laszlo, we're having a picnic in the park this afternoon. It's kind of an annual neighborhood event. Would you please come and be our guest? All right. Great. <laughs> so the treasure has been retrieved. Tom Sawyer found some treasure, too. Tom got himself and Becky home safe. Crazy Joe wasn't so lucky. Good afternoon, Miss Polly. Judge Thatcher, good afternoon. Tom? I've come to tell you not to worry anymore about Crazy Joe coming after you. We found him dead in the cave. Reckon he had it coming to him. Mm -hmm. Won't you come in for a minute, Judge? Well, thank you. I believe I will. I've got some unfinished business in that cave. Huck! Huck Finn! I know where the treasure is. What? Huck, it's in the cave. Are you sure? I know it! This is it, Huck. This is it. This is where I saw him. It's a number two spot, Huck. Marked by a cross. Remember? Help me dig. Chuck, we're rich! to make. As we all know, young Tom Sawyer and young Huckleberry Finn are now the richest people in town. <laughs> now, Tom here has his Aunt Polly to guide him on the path that he should go. But Huck has no one. So, Widow Douglas here has decided to give Huck a proper home and teach him how to be respectable. So, Huckleberry Finn, welcome to your new life. <laughs> After a few weeks of living a respectable life, Huck couldn't take it anymore. He disappeared from town, and no one could find him, except for Tom, who knew where to look. 
Huck? Huckleberry Finn, I know you're in there. Now you come out and show yourself. I won't be rich. I won't live in them smothery houses. I like these barrels just fine. Blame it all. We were just having fun. And this foolishness had to spoil it all. Now we can't play robbers or do anything fun. Looky here, Huck Finn. Being rich ain't gonna keep me from turning robber. You mean it, Tom. You mean we ain't done with our adventures. Never. Just come on back to town with me, okay? Now, when do we turn robbers? Well, we start tonight at midnight, of course. We'll call ourselves the Tom Sawyer's Gang. Why not the Huff Finn Gang? This is where the story of Tom Sawyer leaves off. It doesn't really end. It just stops for a while until the next story begins. It's time for the Wishbone Floor Show. I'm gonna clean up at this picnic. Hi, Sam. Look it. Down here. Cute little dog. Yoo-hoo. Look, Dad. It's Wishbone. When the cute angle fails, you go for the gilt. <gasps> oh, look. I'm just a little hungry dog, and you're the big human hogging all the food. You need something, too, don't you? Huh. <gasps> Oh, yeah. Works every time. Ah! David's family. I'll try the casual approach. I'll pretend I'm fascinated with the grass. Hey, Wishbone, come here. Uh, who? Me? Are you talking to me? Okay. Hi, guys. Uh, I'm not really hungry or anything. I just stopped by to say hi. So let's give Wishbone a taste of this. Very tasty. I think he likes it. <laughs> Emily, go easy. Don't pull on Wishbone's tail like you did the other day. Nice, doggy. Nice, Emily. No sudden moves, okay? Well, this has been lovely, but I gotta go. Oh, thank you. And now for a real challenge. This is picnic technique number three, Shameless stealing. Mm-hmm. Oh. Pineapple upside down. <laughs> oh. That was lovely. Thank you. Oh. Wishbone, where have you been? Uh, at the buffet table. Ooh, squeaky book. I can't leave this out in the open. I just better put this someplace safe. Come here. If I could have everyone's attention for a minute, welcome to this year's picnic. Every year, we ask someone to talk a little bit about the neighborhood. This year, it's my neighbor and dear friend, Ellen Talbot. Ellen? Wish me luck. Thank you, Nathan. Well, you all know me and my son, Joe, and our dog, Wishbone. I'm sure you've all fed him at least once today. <gasps> Who told her that? You know, on a day like this, I look around at all of you, and, and I see stories. And today we have a new neighborhood story, the real story of the no-name grave. It was a family legend that brought Mr. Laszlo to the no-name grave, and a ghost story brought my son and his friends there, and then my son's story brought me there. So different stories brought us all to the same place. That's what stories do. They bring us to the same place. And this neighborhood is, well, it's our place. It's just an ordinary neighborhood, but it's the home of our stories. You know, as Mark Twain said, there is no such thing as an uninteresting life. Such a thing as an impossibility. Beneath the dullest exterior, there is a drama, a comedy, a tragedy. Ooh, ah. I may look.
look like an ordinary dog with an ordinary fleet. But beneath my fur, I've got a hundred stories. <laughs> 